Hey my connectors and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to this channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you can become a part of our family and you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share these videos, like these videos and leave me a comment as well. So today we have a product review product review so y'all know i love product reviews i love to try new stuff i love to tell y'all about them i love you taste them with y'all so i have these gourmet ice pops they're called the hippo oh that's what it's called so i found these in whole foods and they have they're made with fresh fruit they're all natural and they actually take like fresh fruit and mix it with like different herbs so like this one is strawberry basil. This one is champagne mango. This one is mango habanero. And this one is pineapple and cilantro. So just for instance, this one has uh, fresh pineapples, filtered water, evaporated cane juice, and fresh cilantro and salt. So everything in here is kind of like made fresh and that's what they're known for. Um, Hopefully Bertha didn't melt them, y'all. I left I left Bertha in here on. I didn't know she was on. So that's the first one. That's the pineapple and cilantro. This is mango habanero. Habanero. And yeah, I know my head is cut off. Somebody else mentioned that. I always cut the, my head off so y'all can see the food good. When I learn how to use these cameras, it'll get better. Um, this one is champagne mango. So it doesn't have all those additives and other stuff that other popsicles may have in them. So it's all natural. This one is strawberry basil. They have a lot more flavors that I do want to taste. So if this goes well, we will be tasting more. And at the end of this video, towards the end of this video, I'll answer some of your Q&A questions that you left me on the last product review. So if you did not leave me a question, go ahead back over to that video on the pickle video or the um, old snap video and leave me a question that you want answered. I pick randomly, so hopefully, I know I left some, but I'll answer them. All right, so let's taste the first one. This is the pineapple cilantro. Let's take the plastic off. Oh yeah, that's different. You can taste the cilantro. Oh. That's really, it's really fresh. I taste, oh God, cilantro on my lip. <laughs> like, it's really fresh. Mm. The combination, it's so weird. The combination is good. Mmm. I'm gonna let Kit taste something. I'm always trying to get him to taste something, huh? Oh, Bertha was hot. I, uh, I unplugged him. Hey, babe. Which one is this? I don't know if he's still down here or not. Let me see. This, this mango habanero. Hold on. Oh, I didn't take a thumbnail, y'all. Let me take a thumbnail. Fresh. 
So, this is pineapple cilantro. Look at the ingredients. Look at the ingredients. Now, look at the ingredients. Go oh, ahead, yeah, check the ingredients out. Nah. Gourmet, all natural. Oh, I forgot to tell you, they're out of St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, okay. Oh, great. <laughs> I finally got some, because he loved to go straight to the ingredients. Now, let's go. All right, so this is pineapple cilantro. This is mango habanero. Very nice. You can tell it's fresh, huh? Mm -hmm. That'd be good with some tequila. Yes, that's what I said. And that's uh, champagne, I think. Mango. Champagne mm -hmm. mango. Alright. And that one is the strawberry basil. An interesting taste. So, which one is your favorite? The pineapple. The pineapple is your favorite? Yeah. That one? No, whatever this one this is. This one is the mango habanero. Oh, the mango habanero oh. and the pineapple cilantro. cilantro. Oh, okay, pineapple. cool. But all of them are good. Mm hmm. Fresh. All natural. Really good. <laughs> First thing he tried to do is come test the box. <laughs> So these are gourmet, all natural. Mmm. Oh no, this mango champagne. What is it? Champagne mango might be my favorite. Y'all excuse my silly camera. Cause you wanna eat up today. That tastes like a slice of mango. I don't really taste any champagne. But they have a lot of different flavors. So I'm not sure where they are. You have to look them up as... I'm putting this up here so y'all can see it. Um, so you can look them up and see if they have a, like a station. A little kiosk or something. On your area. But they are fresh. All natural. I think this one might be my favorite. Bertha Milner. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. If you get these, you have to like herbs. Like you have to like basil, cilantro, you know, things like that. I'm gonna taste the other flavors too. Oh, and they are $3.69 a piece. So almost like $4 a piece. I don't know, I take that back y'all. Strawberry basil is my favorite. This is my favorite. Mm-hmm. So changing the world one pop at a time. Yeah, let me know if y'all want me to try the other flavors because there are a lot of different other flavors that Whole Foods have. Fresh strawberries, filtered water, evaporated cane juice, fresh basil, and sea salt. So yeah, they're right <clears throat> up the street from me in St. Augustine, Florida. I'm gonna have to go do a vlog and stop by their um, shop. But this is by far my favorite, strawberry basil. And then this mango. Oh, sorry y'all. And then, I would say the pineapple cilantro is my is 
will come in fourth, not because I don't like it, but just because these others are really strong flavors and they're good. So the champagne mango. And then the mango habanero. Actually, shoot, wait a minute. Now we're getting down to the habanero. It's not spicy. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Look, you can see the mango, um, the shreds of mango. You know how the mango has a string? Mmm. I don't know. Let me see. I can't decide between those two. Both of them good. Oh, this is water in here, y'all. Because I didn't know how sweet it's gonna be. But if you like fresh fruit popsicles, these are good. You'll like these. You can see the, the strawberry seeds in it. I know you probably can't tell, but but yeah, you can see the strawberry seeds. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so that's my review. Give them a thumbs up. I really do like them, and I am going to try more flavors, but let me know if you want me to video the other flavors, but I'm definitely going to try the other flavors. Like I said, they're $4. All natural. And they mix some whimsical flavors together. Alright. So, this portion of the video. I'm going to answer the question that I eat the rest of the popsicles and they melt. <laughs> so, I couldn't get all the questions. But I did try and screenshot as many as I could. I don't want the video to be too, too long. We're at, ooh, okay, I'm head up. Thank you guys so much for watching that video as well as leaving me questions. Ooh, that screenshot. I thought I was going to do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, why don't you wear your wedding ring? Girl, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I usually pull my ring off at night. So I'm hoping it's somewhere upstairs on my dresser. But because I'm like either making food or going to get food or wash my hands and all that kind of stuff, I usually just leave it on the dresser. But our wedding ring, I never bought Kid a wedding ring. We got married when we was in college. So I never bought him a wedding ring because I was broke. Um... <laughs> I guess I could have bought him one years later. But ever since I've known him, he's never worn jewelry. So I'm like, I'm not going to waste no money buying, you know, wedding ring. We know we married. So I don't, I mean, I wear it and I don't wear it. It's not really a big thing to me. He He's never worn one. So I guess some people are really into like the big diamonds and they like the flash. And I, I don't know. I'm a goofy. I guess I don't know. I just, I've never been in the rings. And I mean, I have one. And I'll wear it one day so you can see it. But other than that. And the the ring I actually wear is a silver ring. Which I bought when my mom was in the hospital. And my sister and I bought this ring from like the guest area. You know when you, like in a hospital where you have the guest little area or whatever. Visiting area. We bought a ring in there. And we would wear that ring every day. And I started wearing that ring. So just in case I pulled it off. Because I've lost my wedding ring several times. Um... In a hotel one time because I took it off. Then I lost it in the car because I took it off. I don't know. But yeah, that's why I don't wear it. Um, but I'll wear it for you so you can see it. Okay, next question. From Demi Butler. What made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube? Okay, so my kids are already doing YouTube. And... I would tell them like, oh, you should have put this at the end or you should have put that there. This is what you should do. And they was like, you should have started your own YouTube channel. I was like, Ugh. 
whatever i was just trying to help y'all but then i started watching youtube a lot I, I used to just like watch tutorials and um stuff like that and and who i watched back in the day but to uh, you know all uh, you know the old youtubers way back in the day like what was it 07 and stuff like that so i used to like youtube but never thought i would be on there but then I started watching it more and more and then I started watching like those couples channels and um the prank channels and stuff and I was like I could never have a channel like that because I'm not about to prank kid and he's not about to prank me so I mean even though we do prank each other but it, we couldn't be a pranking channel well um, that's what made me start with um YouTube I was like I want to do that oh and then my kids started videotaping our vacations and Kiana would put all these um videos together and it was just so beautiful her and Khalil so I was like oh I love that and, you know I really wanted them to do it more and more and I would tell them to put stuff in the vacation videos and they was like no you need to just create your own channel so long story short yeah I went ahead and created my own and I started vlogging and uh the vlogs were I love the vlogs I think they're some of my best videos. Hold on, this is April calling. Y'all say hey to April. <laughs> hey, girl. Don't watch it no more. Oh, a video real quick on these popsicles. Girl, these popsicles good. Is this the one that you did? I thought y'all already did one of them. I ain't had this one. I'll call you back. No. I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. <laughs> but listen, but listen to this right quick. What's up? Uh, that was uh, April. Most of y'all know her. Alright, so I think I answered the question about why I started YouTube. Mm. It melting, y'all. Okay, so the next question is, where do you live in Florida? I live in Northeast Florida. I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, why doesn't your husband do mukbangs with you? Uh, my husband doesn't eat the same stuff I eat. He's not going to stick his hands and no food and no butter. And he doesn't eat a lot of seafood. He's trying to actually um do more plant-based diet he's going into a more plant-based diet or a whole food diet or something like that so he's not really mm. hold on girl i don't swallow that whole ice cream so um yeah so he doesn't eat like that and he's not into being on youtube youtube is not his career he never wanted to be in entertainment you know, videos, that's not his thing. He is more of an entrepreneur, behind the scenes, stuff like that. So that's not his thing, and I definitely wouldn't force him. Now, in my vlogs, you'll see him in the vlogs. He'll he'll talk and engage. He's like he's hiding from nobody. But it's just not his thing to sit up here and, you know, <laughs> do ice cream reviews and eat seafood. So, no, it's not his thing. Um, uh, is your daughter out of high school? Yes. She is 18. She is out of high school. Are you going to do vlogs? Yes, I love vlogs. They take me longer to edit, but I absolutely love vlogs. I started out vlogging. But um, right now, vlogs are not trending. So, to be honest with you, you have to kind of do what's trending. And then you can incorporate things that you like into, you know, your channel. In my opinion. That's just in my opinion. But I love vlogs. Like when I go on vacation, I would love to bring y'all with me on um, our cruises or when we go to Disney. Wherever we go, I like bringing y'all with me. And um, actually, my next uh, vacation, I'll do a lot more vlogs. Because I like bringing people where they haven't gone before or may not have seen before. And they'd be like, well, Casey, thank you so much for sharing that because I, I didn't know that exists. That feels good to me. So, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Um, when will you do more cooking videos? Girl, I ain't doing no cooking videos. I can't cook. I mean, I can cook. My sister say stop saying it. I can cook. I don't like cooking. And then if you bring a camera where I got to do the angles and, you know, I don't want to just throw up anything. Because when you're doing a cooking video, you really want people to try the recipe. You really want them to try it. So you need to be detailed. The first cooking video I did, I recorded my friend April. And I wasn't as detailed as I should have been because I didn't think anybody was going to watch it. So, um, I don't do cooking videos because it takes a lot of time and stuff. And I'm not really good at, you know, filming. Like, Kiana does very good cooking videos. And I told her to do a seafood cooking video. Like, do 
like one of my seafood boils for me. Oh, it's melting, y'all. Hold on. Mmm. So, y'all will, um, y'all can see how I make my seafood, but by the time I'm recording in the evening, I'm running around trying to set things up, trying to get the lights on and all that kind of stuff and put the food on the plate. Uh, you don't want me to throw no cooking video together. It'll be horrible. Ooh, I'm dropping. So, unless I have some help, like my sister or Kiana or somebody wants to come and help me, but to do, I do everything by myself. I film, I set up, I go get my food, I edit, I answer questions, everything on my own by myself. My husband does, he funds <laughs> my business, but as far as helping me record and stuff, that's not his thing. And Kiana don't want to be bothered half of the time, so yeah. But the more, I'll probably do more in the future. Because I'm probably going to be recording more with my sister, I hope. Oh, it's just melting, y'all. But, yeah. So, that I think that answers that. Um, I think I answered all of your questions. Amy Lewis says, where do you buy your seafood? I get my king crab from Costco. I get my snow crab and Dungeness crab from Rose. And that's R-O-W-E apostrophe S. A lot of people think I'm saying rose like the flower. I get my shrimp from Sam's. And I think that's all the seafood I usually do, right? Yeah. I get my garlic in a big tub from Sam's. I think that's all. Thank you, Amy. And let's see. Question from Queen of Kings. Do you still have a regular job? No. I don't work. The only thing I do is YouTube. And I know y'all probably saying, well, you should be uploading more. I should. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry as I don't know what, child. I'm lazy. <laughs> Seriously, I need to start recording more. And I will in the future. So, I don't have a regular job. I have a regular 9 to 5. My husband supports me fully. But... She says, if not, at what point in YouTube freed you from your, from it? Oh, I had, I had already got fired. <laughs> I got fired in, um, let me see, was that 2017? April? No, March 2017. And I started YouTube October 2017. So, yeah, I was already fired. I said, I said to myself I wasn't going back because I just didn't like it. Um, it just, you know, you, you know when you feel like you need to do something else. So, yeah. But it was a contract job. It was ending that week anyway. I just got fired. But probably about, I think it was a week before it ended, they started letting people go. So, yeah. So, I didn't work or anything like that um, from... That last day in March, last week in March, and then I started the last week of October. Which I wanted to start in April, but I procrastinated. That's a whole nother story. I think I told y'all that. How much time? Oh, I don't even know because I had to stop the camera. I hope it's not too long, y'all. Alright, so. Oh, thank you, Queens of Kings, for the question. Puddin' Tanner says, my question is about your garlic sauce. I'm new, and you may have done done how a how to already no i didn't do a how to so how do you make it um the only thing i do is i put the butter in there i add the garlic i add the parsley i put a little bit of onion powder a little bit of garlic powder um lemon uh complete seasoning and i put hot sauce now i change the recipe every now and then and start adding um like cajun seasoning or what's that creole seasoning Sometimes, uh, slap your mama sometimes. Um, I think that's about it. So I switch it up sometimes, but that's the basics. That's the basics of it. So garlic, parsley. Oh, excuse me. I taste mango. Garlic, parsley, onion powder, garlic powder, lemon. I put complete seasoning and I put a little bit of hot sauce, whichever your favorite hot sauce. And you don't have to put that if you don't want 
but that's it and I let it cook you know so the garlic can start roasting and even when I put it on this plate it's continuing to cook so you get that roasted garlic taste so that's that um oh I must have screenshotted that twice Rochelle Olds says will Khalil be home for the holidays yes he can't wait actually I just talked to him yeah he'll be he'll be here for the holidays and then she says so your other son come home ever come home um no he's in Japan no he won't be coming home anytime soon I don't think he wants to use up any of his days to come all the way to Florida that's a long way from Japan so no he's doing good I just talked to him yesterday as well um let's see oh Dorothy Barty I hope I'm saying that right says why doesn't your husband show his face on camera will you be collabing with any other YouTube my husband he shows his face on camera he um if you look at some of my old videos he's on a lot of the old videos because he was just trying to support me and get me started um but on our vlogs you'll see him a lot more than you'll see him eating food he's not gonna sit up and eat food with me Chad. I don't that ain't happening <laughs> I might do one of his like vegan recipes one day on the stuff he makes in there I'll do that so he he may eat that with me but he's not he's not eating with his hands he's not having stuff on his face he's not and he's lost a lot of weight I think he's lost like 60 pounds so he's definitely not trying to gain it all back we kind of switch roles because one time I lost a lot of weight and then he gained. But yeah, that's that. Um, will you be collabing with any other YouTubers? I hope so. I love all of them. I want to collab with a bunch of them. If you do, who would you collab with? Everybody. All of them. I love them all. They all bring something different to the table. Yeah, but... I don't know about virtual collabs. I don't, I don't know. I like like the sit, you sit next to me kind of collab. But I don't collab here because it's like this. You see this couch in my arm? I don't want to be like this eating because it's uncomfortable. So like even when I collab with my sister, we had to move this couch out. <laughs> put my bench here so the couch took up the entire for you. So it was a lot. So until I get everything situated the way I want to get it situated, then I'll probably be just here recording by myself. So if I'm out of town, then I'll record with other people. But I guess you can make room, but it's just a lot moving all this stuff. And like I said, I do all this by myself. I move all this by myself. And it's a lot. But um, I'm getting ready to throw some stuff out and kind of take over the house a little bit. I'm talking him into it. Because I would like to do more collabs and stuff, but I'm just not set up right now for anybody else to get. Look, y'all, these hips is 52 inches, honey. It's not much anybody else can do on this couch. And that's why me and Kiana is always squished up on here. And I definitely want to bring another adult in here where they got to be squished and uncomfortable. So that's that. But yeah, I would love to collab with all of them. Hopefully I will. I'll be able to travel more and... We'll be able to set up in a hotel or in a restaurant or something. But yeah, I love them all. Alright, next one. Do you have a favorite brand of pickled okra? And that's from Tracy Smith. Um, no, I just, if I see like pickled okra in a jar, I don't really have a brand. I like, I just like them. And they're so crunchy. If you haven't tried them, try pickled okra. Next question is, Oh, <laughs> hey sis, how are you? That's from Debbie, Debbie Shoemaker. Hey Debbie, I'm good. <laughs> I think she always asks me that. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, this one is from April Snelling. Hey sis. She says, da, 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 my question is, oh, my question is how long does it take for you to actually get ready and do videos? Try a long time. Because I can never just do what I'm supposed to do and get where I need to get. I'm always dancing or talking or laughing or listening to watching a video of one of the other content creators. So it takes me, if I just go in there and go ahead and get done. Hmm. Maybe an hour, hour and a half, I guess. It shouldn't take that long, but as y'all know, I don't know how to do makeup and stuff. So it always takes me a little longer. Than the average person. 
Um, yeah. So that, that was the only question she had. So yeah, that about an hour, hour and a half. Um, as far as like the food, you could add more time. But I'm talking about just like getting dressed and at least putting on a shirt. I ain't gonna say I put on no decent pair of pants or nothing. I just put on some little shorts and look. Look at that girl with them Des Dukes on. Okay, next question. From Twin Munch Eats. Good idea. How was that? Any future vacations coming up? Absolutely. <laughs> And I'll tell you about them soon, and you'll know why I keep getting on my last nerve. Get on my nerves. So I'll tell you about the vacations that's coming up. So yes, yes, definitely. I try and take a vacation at least twice to three times a year. Um, my question is, will you and B-Love do a seafood boil together? Absolutely. I love her. So, yes, I, definitely. I would love to do a seafood boil with her. Um, Next. Oh, that was from, so I'm sorry, Sharon Fisher. And the vacation question was from Twin Munch Eats. All right. Next question. Lord, I hope this isn't too long. I'm sorry if it is, y'all. Um, Jake Harris says, I know you love Disney, so who is your favorite Disney character? Goofy. Can't you? <laughs> me and Goofy? Okay, first Goofy, then Minnie. So, yeah, me and Goofy. Can't y'all tell me and Goofy is like, we could hang. He is really Goofy. I love that because <laughs> I'm Goofy. But, yeah, Goofy. Um, Not like the Disney princesses. They're all beautiful and stuff, but, yeah, Goofy. I want somebody I can go laugh and have fun with. I ain't trying to be cute in no dress, child. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, da -da 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 -da. Have you ever did a soul food mukbang? If not, please do. Yes, that is from Vanita. I think that's right. Vanita, I think so. Vanita Beck. Yes, I did soul food. I did a uh, soul food bistro, oxtails, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, candy yams. I'll do another one though. It was good. Next question is from Cynthia Scott. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I would probably live, I would say in the United States, I would definitely live California and Hawaii. Um, I don't think there's any other state that really kind of like, I've been to California and I loved it. I went to L.A. Shout out to my girl Yo-Yo. She invited me out there. So I went to L.A. I went to, I think it's Newport Beach or something like that. Um, Temecula. Is that it? Temecula? That area over there? Well, whatever. But it was really, really nice. I had a great time. Yeah, so she invited me. She used to organize, organize these trips. It was bomb. We used to have so much fun. Um... Do you have part Hawaiian in your family? I hope so, cause I love them. They are. They, when I went to Hawaii, I, they made me feel like we were cousins for real. <laughs> my Ohana. So shout out to all of my Hawaiian family. I love y'all. Yes, I do think I'm part Hawaiian. I mean, my my history doesn't say it, but like my mom and my daddy. But I think I am, cause I just felt like I belong there. So I love y'all. All right, so let's see. This is from Great Brittany, I think. Yeah, Great Brittany. She asks, is YouTube your only job? Yes, it's my only job at the present time. And if not, what other job do you do? Yeah, I don't have any other jobs. Nothing, nothing else. All right, so this is from Ree Smith. Hey, Ree Ree. Question is, out of all... Out of so many things to vlog, what made you do food slash mukbangs? Um, I started vlogging, but vlogs, as you know, is not popular. It doesn't get any views. You don't, you can't grow your channel as fast. And I love eating. I mean, I'm always taking pictures of my food. I'm always, um, you know, posting pictures of food, and I love engaging. So I was like, why not do mukbangs? I was a kind of hesitant in the beginning. Um, because I started doing vlogs and then I emailed, um, B loves and I told her that I didn't want people to feel like, Oh, now you copying B loves. Now you doing vlogs. I mean, now you doing mukbangs. And she was like, listen, I didn't create it. 
So you do, if you, that's what you want to do, do it. And then like I told y'all, Stacy and Martika, I used to watch them. So they kind of like inspired me as well. And like I said, Stacy had just started her channel and she was like, go ahead. So she encouraged me a lot. So shout out to her as well. So yeah, so those ladies were the ones that really convinced me, hey, Casey, go ahead and do your thing. You know, we'll support you or whatever. And they did. They showed up and they did. So shout out to Be Loves for um, answering my email because I, I think she had just hit 100,000 in March around that time. And because um, I, I, I started YouTube October 28th, but that was vlogs all the way up until March 2018. So March 2018 was my first mukbang. And then my, my channel started to grow from there. So yeah. So when she called me, <laughs> I was shocked because sometimes you just feel like people won't answer you. So when she called me and she was, she talked to me like we had been friends forever. And that's just her personality. She's so sweet and humble, you know. So when people have something negative to say about her, it's just like it goes in one ear and not the other. Because I know who she was in the beginning. And every time I speak to her, she's the same person. So people just choose not to like her for some reason. But I don't think she care, girl. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. Um, but I will do more vlogs like in the future. Do you see yourself in the in this for the long haul? Yes. Um, even if it's not just sitting here eating, I will be doing something where I can engage and talk to people, make them laugh, make them um, feel better about themselves, encourage them to go for whatever they, what whatever it is that they want to go for. I see myself doing that in the future. It feels good to inspire somebody or encourage somebody or just give a hand out to somebody and say, here, let me hold your hand through this. You can do this. You know what I'm saying? So I do see myself doing something like that. Um, and especially like younger kids and younger people and people that's been through things. I can relate. I've been the underdog. I, I have something in my heart for them when people feel like I'm too old to do this or you know, nobody's going to watch me and stuff. I just want to encourage them that, yes, there's an audience for everybody. And you're never too young, honey. As long as you got air in your lungs, you can still have fun. So don't let nobody put that in your head. Being older is a blessing because it comes with wisdom and lessons. So don't make nobody, don't let nobody make you feel like you're too old to do something. I think that's it, Riri. <laughs> I get on a tangent, y'all. I'm so sorry. All right, so next one is... Da, 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 da. Stacy voice. Hey sis, how many mukbangs have you done so far? Ooh, I don't even know. I don't know. I need to count one day though. That's a good question. I don't know. All right, next one is from Lisa Jones. Sis, Charlotte, how long have you been married? I have been married 21 years or 22, 21, 21 years. I've been married 21 years. I got married in April of 1997. So yeah. So yeah, that's 21 years, right, y'all? I think so. We'll be at 18, 7, yeah, 21. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, that's it. I did good. That's not bad. So like I said, if y'all have more questions, I don't mind answering them. I know I missed some on the pickle question. I will answer the, I will get those the next time and I'll try not to repeat. But um, so I hope you've gotten to know me a little bit better. I hope what I've said to somebody or something I said helps you. And that's a little bit of my history, y'all. I'm an open book. I've made all the mistakes I can make. I, I, I have a lot of story times. I'll be telling you some of those. But I just feel like um, I don't need to hang on to my stories as, as if, you know, to be ashamed of them or anything like that. Because what I've gone through, somebody else may be going through. And I can help them or tell them what I did to get through it. But... Yes, me, y'all. So thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I apologize this video was so long, but I did want to get some of those questions out. So on the next product review, I'll try and answer many more. Um, until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.